hey, real quick, I just wanted to show you from the cur or from the porch, you can see these beautiful curb cut pavers that are concrete and built in to look like brick, which is a nice way to separate your flower beds from the rest of your grass and no weeds start to grow over in it. You don't have to edge. Here's your porch. Plenty of room for a couple of rockers or chairs sitting out here. Then we're going to come on in. You have kind of a Juliet balcony in your foyer with some beautiful hardwoods. Stairs landing. And off to your left is your formal dining with some beautiful crown molding and wainscoting. For the double window. Sorry, the light's kind of playing with the camera. Straight through is the access to your kitchen. But if you come back this way, you also have access to, well, let me drop my keys to your living room, living space. Here's your half bath. Again, hardwoods. Come on. The living room is quite grand with probably 12 to 15 foot ceilings. Still hardwoods. Nice cherry finish. And a fireplace. Again, back to your left. You enter your kitchen. Crown molding and recessed lighting. Stainless steel and granite. They've got the house entirely staged. It's a little overkill in that kitchen. <laughs> they really should have left some of this stuff off. But people get decorative. Lots of light, lots of windows on the back of the home. True tile floor in the living room, and, or sorry, kitchen and dining. This is an eat-in space. With also your access to your screened-in porch, as well as your gorgeous large backyard. You have trees. Oh, and a bunny. It's a nice natural shade, fully fenced, with a nice decorative piece on top. Birds are just loving it today. It's a little cloudy. You have a bit of a catwalk up top. It's a very nice look. Very spacious. Right here is a closet for your coats. It's got a surge protector inside. Most of the homes that were built in Fox Bank were built with that for internet purposes. Your laundry room is right off the living. You could add some cabinets if you like. This is also your garage access. Your garage doors actually have windows in them. You do have an attic access there too. Oh, looks like two. So lots of space. That over there is your water shutoff valve. Let's go check out the master. Okay, right off the living room, downstairs is also your master. It is carpeted, but the carpet looks fairly new, if not brand new. Looks great. Nice big space. Plenty of room for a king size bed. Has a tray ceiling, very deep. A 
lots of room. Beautiful bath. Again with tile. Dual sinks. Brush nickel finishes. You have a separate garden tub and shower. Your master closet's fairly decent, only they skimped out on the racks. You definitely have room to put in another layer of racks or do a more custom built in if you'd like. And your toilet's there. Let's head upstairs. From the top of the landing of the stairs, you have a little loft space, put a desk or a little reading nook. Beautiful windows. Off to your left and right, there are two bedrooms. On the left, you'll come around. Again, I do believe that this carpet is brand new, freshly painted. I don't think you're going to have to do anything. Just move in and be happy. Rooms are fairly large. I would say this one's definitely like 13 by 11 or 12. It's got a walk-in closet. Again, you could probably add a few more racks. You have a linen in the hall separating the two. Attic access again. Here's the right side bedroom. This one's not as deep as the other one, but still just as nice. Again, with the walk-in closet. They've been very generous with storage in the house. We're going to cut across. There is only one bath up here, but it does have dual sink vanities. Again, brush nickel. Tile floor and another deep linen. Storage, storage. One more storage room. So that makes three up here. And here's the first of the left bedrooms. Again, two. This bedroom is not near, I think it's the smallest of all, of all the four up here, all four. Again, though, has a walk-in closet. Oops, sorry, the light's not, the bulb's probably burned out. It has a walk-in closet. Nice uh, baseboard molding. I would say that's a five inch. So it's definitely an upgrade. We got a lot of upgrades in the house. It's really lovely. Here's your frog finished room over the garage. Hold on, let me focus. Kind of got a fun feature with the ceiling because it jets out over the garage. Could be a good media room. Let's see. Again, a walk-in.